Shalom, shalom, Israel. We back with another uh, Friday. Uh, actually, we in the Sabbath now. Uh, Sabbath night. Uh, Friday night, Sabbath class. Uh, today, the name of class is going to be Who Are the Actual People of the Bible? I'm here with the other junior ox. Shalom. shalom. Oh, oh, okay. So we're going to get right into it. My first piece I'm going to pull tonight is 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. First Corinthians chapter one and verse two. Uh-huh. Until the church of God, which is at Corinth. This is this is who Paul. This is God, this, this is about to describe describe who who Paul is talking to right now. Read to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, they fall up to Christ. Read called to be saints. They're called saints. So he's talking to the saints right now. He read. With all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our uh, Lord, uh -huh. both theirs and ours. So this right here is basically saying that Paul is talking to the saints right here. Uh, my second precept, um, let's go to 2 Corinthians 1 and 1. Through these next couple of precepts, I'm going to prove a very valuable point that a lot of people seem to miss when it comes to Paul. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 1. Okay. Paul. An apostle of Jesus Christ okay. by the will of God. Yep. And Timothy, our brother. Okay. Unto the church of God which is at Corinth. This is he's talking to the people of Corinth. But who who is he talking to? Or read. With all the saints which are in Achaia. He's talking to the saints. Again, this this is again say he's talking to the saints. Paul is preaching to the saints. Let, let's go one more again. Let's go to Ephesians 1 and 1. One book over, oh, two books over. Book of Ephesians, chapter 1 and verse 1. Okay. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus. 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 Uh-huh. And to the faith, faithful in Jesus in Christ Jesus. Once again, he's talking to the saints. He, he, he just, Paul is expressing this word of God to the saints. So now through all this, you wonder who are the saints? Give me Psalm 148 and 14. So now we're about, we're about to explain who the saints are, who who Paul is talking to, because this seems to be a trouble a trouble area for a lot of people. Who is Paul talking to right here? Let, let's see. Psalms one forty eight and fourteen. The book of Psalms chapter one forty eight and verse fourteen. Okay. He also exalted the horn of his people. Okay. The praise of all his saints. The praise of who? All his saints. Okay. Even of the children of Israel. So this is telling you that the saints are the children of Israel. So if the saints are the children of Israel, who is Paul talking to? Who is he talking to, guys? The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. Simple as that. If Paul is talking to Israel, he's not talking to no other nation. This, this is directed toward Israel. Keep reading. Keep reading. A people near unto him. A people near unto him. A people close to God. A people that God chose. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, praise ye the Lord. Simple as that, man. Let's let's go back. Let's go to let's go to Galatians one and two. Let's go here. I'm about, I'm about to prove who the actual people of the Bible are. Okay. Galatians chapter one and verse two. Read. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. And who? Great. All the brethren, no, there you go. All the brethren, which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Brethren, who is brethren? Y'all, so this may be this may be. First, he was saying saints in the other book. Now he's saying brethren. Let's get what let, what does brethren mean? Go to Romans nine and three. Uh, we got to break down who Paul is talking to, so that gives you better insight of who the word and the message was for here. Book of Romans chapter nine and verse three. Okay. For I could wish that myself were accused from Christ uh -huh. for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. My brethren and my kinsmen, according according to the flesh. Uh -huh. Simple as that, bro. He's talking to Israel. And Israel is not a spiritual. It just said what? Read it. Read it again, Bear. <laughs> for I could wish that myself were accused from okay. Christ for my brethren, okay. my kinsmen, okay. according to the flesh. According to the flesh. So this means there is a there is a flesh connection or a blood connection between Israel, Christ, and Paul. That Paul is talking to his people, the people that Christ chose, that God chose. 
<laughs> Simple as that, man. Give me Isaiah 45 and 17. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. Okay. But Israel shall be saved. Who? But, it is, Israel. but Israel shall be saved. Okay. Shall be, shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Come. Ye shall not be ashamed. Not be ashamed. Nor confounded. Nor confounded. A world without end. World without end. That means, guess what that means? Israel, when, when we get our kingdom back... We're not going to be ashamed. We're not going to be confounded. It's going to be a world without end. It's going to be straight up us. So now, uh, let's go to... Uh, jump up to verse 4. Luke Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 4. Okay. For Jacob, my servant's sake. Okay. And Israel, mine elect. Who? Israel, mine elect. One more time. Israel, Israel mine elect. God. So, if Paul is talking to Israel... He's talking to God's elect. Keep reading. Come on. I, and Paul, just to let y'all know, I'm going to get that priest up in a second. But Paul was a Benjamite. Paul was a tribe, from the tribe of Benjamite, which was in one of the tribes of Israel. Okay. Where is it? I'm going to get it. Keep going. I'll get it. Read. Read what we get. I have even called thee by thy name. He is called thee by his name. The Israelites. Keep reading. I have surnamed thee. Okay. Though thou hast not known me. Though we have not known him. Because guess what? Guess where we're at today? A lot of people don't know who Christ is. That's the problem here. Okay, so now, with that being said, did you, did you ever find it? No, not yet. Okay, then, so we're going to keep going. Give me, uh, I'm, I'm going to continue to prove who Israel is and who the Bible is talking to here. Give me Isaiah 42 and 22. I'm about to wear Isaiah out today, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, 42 and 22. Luke Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 22. Okay. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of snared in, in holes. Who? But wait, start up, sorry, sorry. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Okay. They are all of they're all of them snared in holes. They're snared in holes. Okay, keep reading. And they are hid. In prison houses. Who does it sound like today? Who does it sound like? They're all hidden prison houses. Keep reading. They are for a prey. They are for what? A prey. For what? A prey. Guess what a prey is? A prey is an animal that a predator attacks. Uh -huh. So if we're for a prey, we're steady getting attacked. We're steady getting 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 messed up by the other nations. Keep reading. And none delivered. None delivered because guess what? The Most High said, "Guess what? I, you gotta get punished." So guess what? I'm, nobody's gonna deliver you, deliver you right now. You gotta get punished for what you've done. Keep reading. For a spoil, and of none say say it, restore. Mm -hmm. Simple as that, bro. This is this is this is constantly talking about Israel here. As we go through throughout the precepts and scriptures, it's constantly this is Israel and Israel's God elect. Paul was talking to Israel. Uh, okay, that, uh, that precept is Romans 11 and verse 1. Let's get it. Romans 11. Okay. Romans 11 and 1. Get that. I was in prison. Huh? But these are, one, these are one of the things that we are, these are one of the things that we are talking about while we're going over this class. Who are God? Who is God's elect? Okay. Know? You ready? Get that. The book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. Uh -huh. I say then. Uh huh. Has God cast away his people? Has God cast away his people? Mm -hmm. Has God cast away the chosen ones? Keep reading. God forbid. No. No, he is not. He has not cast away his people yet. Read. Keep reading. For I also am, am an Israelite. For he's an Israelite. He's mm -hmm. an Israelite. He's God's chosen people. Keep reading. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham. Yeah, he comes from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Keep reading. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul was a Benjamite. Guess what? It's simple as that, like he just said. This is a bloodline. This is by flesh. Adam is related to, to Moses, and Moses is related to Abraham. Abraham related to Christ, and it just go on down. We it's it's like blood in the flesh. It's not a you can't be a spiritual Israelite. It's only the Israelites, and those are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of the day. Simple as that. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let's get it. Let's get. Give me Isaiah fifty one and twenty. I'm about to go right on back. Book Isaiah chapter fifty one. In verse 20. Bring it out. Thy sons have fainted. Okay. Thy lie at the head of the of all the streets. Okay. As a wild bull in a net. Okay. Give they are it. full of fury. 
uh. of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Hey Amen. Who is this talking about? Let, 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 let's start it back over again. Uh, one more time for the people who didn't hear. Read it, read it again. Thy sons have fainted. They have fainted. Keep reading. Thy light at the head of all the of our streets. Who are the people today lying at the head of the streets on the corner of the streets selling drugs? That's us. That's that's us up today, man. It's, it's, this, this Bible cannot get more clear cut than this. Keep reading. As a wild bull in a net. A wild bull in a net. What, what, have you ever seen a wild bull in a net? A wild bull in a net is crazy. It's ready to do anything. It's ready to do anything to get out that net. They, hey, this, 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 this describes us to the T, man. Keep reading. They are full of, of the fury of the Lord. Full of fury. Hey, guess what that is? It's madness. They, they crazy, man. They, they mad. They all, hey, hey. We, we fight each other. Israel on Israel. Crime all, all the time. Keep reading. The rebuke of thy God. Hey, we are for rebuke now. Look at us. This, this, this is what we become. Sorry, my 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 bad. Let me go to uh, Revelation chapter eleven and verse nine, eleven and verse eight oh, because that's a that's a crucial precept that you that you pull. Oh, you my bad. Oh my bad. So no, nah, you can you go. All right, my bad. Cause that's a crucial part where he, where uh where brother Joe talking about. Cause we cause the, the people on the, the drug dealers man these, these are all these this is a crucial part that Joe talking about. So let's read that when you get there. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Bring it out. Mm-hmm. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. Where the dead bodies at? In the streets of the great city. Battle Lexus. In, in the, the streets, streets of, of the, the great, great city. city. Our body is laid in the, in, in the streets of the great city. God, man. Uh, we, all, we all around in Baltimore, Dallas, in, um, California, all, 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 them great city, all them great cities, man. Come on, keep reading. Which spiritually is called... Sodom and Egypt. We had them. We had look, look, them gay, look, look, gay lamb. Sodom. This, this stuff is Sodom. Sodom and Gomorrah. This is this is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah with all the gays running around. And when it say that Egypt, that mean that mean the captivity that we in. He read it. Where also our Lord was crucified. They killed. They killed our Lord over here too. Man. And when they, he doesn't mean yeah. literally killed yeah, our, our Lord. Lord by killing our Lord. What that means? That means turning him to a white man. Put him in Christianity. Tell them, tell them the white children that guess what? They can be saved too. Um, tell them white people that they can be saved too. Um, tell them black people that they're, that they're equal with everybody else and we above. When we supposed to be above everybody. Um, that, that's that's what that is. Give me Job 924. You already, it's already here. Already knew. Simple as that, man. That that's that really that that's how that's how Christ is crucified here. The book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. Read. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Guess what? The hands of the wicked, guess who that is? The people who don't keep the most high God laws, the two-thirds, and guess what? Any other nation is not an Israelite. The hands of the wicked. They are, they are above us right now. Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. A judge is someone who's supposed to be over the people and who judges the matters that come that come up. Within the people, Christ is a judge, and guess what? They covered his face. They they turned him to a white man. Uh, that's simple as that. That right there. That's 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 how Christ is crucified over here. Mm-hmm. Keep reading. If not, where and who is he? Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Read that over. If not, where and who is he? Simple as that, man. Where and who is he? That's the problem. They they did it so well. People are really out here moved. They're really out here blinded. They walking around. And they, they don't see what's going on directly in front of them, man. Groping on uh, day. Also, I want to ask someone over there, over there, right? They covered the faces thereof, right? Okay, so instead of calling people in the Bible black, they white now, right? Calm. Mm. They covered our faces. Because mm-hmm. they ain't the real people in the Bible. They covered mm-hmm. our faces and they put them, they, they're, them in the high places. Calm on We just went to a mall today. And we went to, we went to one of the uh, stores. It's called Jerusalem City. They had all types of white Jesus in there, mm-hmm. all types of crosses, rosary all beads, idolatry. all types of idolatry. Yes, man. It, it, it's really bad out here. Let's go back to Re- Revelation 11 and 8 real quick. Let's go back there. <clears throat> yeah, finish that. No, it's over with. Oh, it is? No. Yeah, it is. You, you pour. No, I want Revelation 11 and 8. All right. And just to touch on that with the covering the face of their earth. That is to uh, mentally destroy us as a people. There you go. Because if you, if you see that, you know what I'm saying, Yahawashah, you know what I'm saying, the, the Hamashiach or Christ is a, is a so-called white man, then you're going to think, oh, the white man is great. The white man is God. He's pure. 
So mentally, so, that's destroying us as a people. Go ahead, Kind of. I, I couldn't say it better. Mentally, that is a mental destruction on our people. Simple as that. Read the Revelation 11 and 8. The book of Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Okay. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. Shooting out the shooting. They I hear people getting lynched. It's, it's getting real serious, man. Read. Well, spiritually, it's called Sodom and Egypt. Okay. It said, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So a lot of people wonder, what, what does that mean? Let, give me Exodus 20 and 2. God. Let's help you understand what, what, this, what, what spiritual... Sodom and Egypt mean. Let's, let's, let's go there. Exodus 20 and 2. Book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Okay. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. He said he brought us out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? House of bondage. bondage. Out of the what? House, house of bondage. bondage. So look, if the Most High is comparing the Egypt to bondage in this situation... Egypt means slavery. That's so right. guess what? Back in the Revelation 11 and 8, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, this is slavery. Where are we in slavery today? Right here in America. Because guess why you in slavery? You in slavery because you're not on the top. You equal everybody else now. Actually, you in slavery because you're not equal. You under everybody else today. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, uh, in Egypt, because you guys said it's spiritually, uh, 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 spiritually Egypt, man, on the back of the uh, dollar, there's a, a pyramid on there, man, letting you know, hey, we got you. You still in captivity, man. Simple. Go ahead, Doc. Guess what? If anybody ever been to Memphis, Memphis, uh, mm -hmm. in Memphis, you know, the Mississippi River runs through Memphis, right? Mm -hmm. And similar to Egypt, on the Mississippi in, in, in Memphis, uh, in, in here in America, they have a pyramid right there off the river. And it's, guess what? That pyramid is just like over there off the Nile River, uh, just south of Cairo, where they have the, uh, the the pyramids of Giza over there. Mm -hmm. Hey man, this this is spiritual Egypt. When the Bible says spiritual Egypt, it's really being serious. It, people people go the signs right in front of us. Uh, uh, give me Jeremiah seventeen and four. Look at Jeremiah chapter seventeen and verse four. Okay. And thou, enemies. Sorry, read it over. Yeah, read that from the top. Right. And thou, even thyself. Shall discontinue from thy heritage, from thy heritage that I gave thee. Okay. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land in a land which thou not. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I was not. Man. Read that over again, because I really wasn't paying attention. The live had Paul's for a second. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah. Read it over again. Yeah. From the top. Yeah. And thou, even thyself. Okay. Shall discontinue. From thine heritage. That word discontinue from our heritage, that means to be took away from or to be taken from our heritage. Mm -hmm. We we pretty much, we got taken from our heritage. Now, a lot of people don't wear fringes. Women don't wear dresses. Men wear dresses today. Uh, it, it, women do not dress modestly anymore. There, there is no, there is no, uh, there is no biblical structure to this, to this, to this society at all. That's right. Simple as that. Uh, keep reading. That I gave thee. Okay. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. He will call us he will cause us to serve our enemies. This is how you wanna know how we serve our enemies through section eight. We not not uh, being the this fact that we have to work in this kingdom at all. The fact that our children are being taught uh, American history, white supremacy in school, the fact that we get shot down in the streets we have to go to them for everything from water to food to work to clothes. It, this, this right here, this is really bad. Keep reading. In the land which thou knowest not. What? In Keep the reading. land which thou knowest not. We do not know this land because you know why we you know why we know why we don't know this land because this is not our homeland. We we weren't this this is not our natural place. We're naturally from Israel, not America. Keep reading. That's right. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. Guess what? We've made the most high very angry because guess what? We've turned away from his laws and we've done stuff that that's ungodly and unholy. Keep reading. Which shall burn forever. Hey, which for burn which shall burn forever. Okay. With that being, uh, give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Oh, we already here, my bad. Give me 2nd Ezra 2 and 7. Bear with us. Oh, this is your apocrypha right here. That's where you can find 2nd Ezra uh, in, in the other books. Come. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 2 
and verse 4. 7. Verse 7. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. Read it over again, because I, I don't think I don't think the people in the very, very, very back heard you. Read it again. Let them be scattered abroad. Let them be scattered abroad. The word abroad means to be, guess what? We're all over the world now. We're in China. We're in India. We're in Canada, the U.S., mm -hmm. South America, Russia. We scattered abroad. Keep reading. Among the heathen. Among the who? Among the heathen. The heathen. Guess what? Guess guess who rules the world today? The heathen, or a.k.a. Mr. Friendly White Man. Keep reading. Right. Let their names be put out of the earth. For they have despised my covenant. Let their names be what? Put outside the earth. So if their names are being put outside the earth, guess what? That, that's again playing on that discontinue. Our heritage was discontinued. We lost our heritage. We lost our names. We lost our nationality. That's that. That's what that means. Keep reading. Oh, wait, let me see. Yep, read the last part. But they have despised my covenant. That word despised, they have one against or took it for granted. We took the covenant for granted. You got a piece of it? No, I'm you. no. Sorry. Okay. They have took my. They have took my uh, uh, covenant for granted. Mm -hmm. Simple as that, man. Uh, uh, give me Ezekiel thirty-six to twenty-four. And, and like the Aqua saying, like when he say that we took the Lord's covenant for granted, man, that just mean you know what I'm saying we we was going the hell off, man. Like we was disobeying the law, breaking the law, you know. Uh, sexual immorality and everything that we do today, we know that ain't it ain't nothing new under the sun, man. So everything he breaking down is just going into it's, when that verse was just going into how he was not keeping God's law. Ezekiel thirty six and twenty four. Back to that. Go ahead. We all this stuff is explained right here. It's how we it's how we are part of God's kingdom. Con. They changed the face of Christ. I'm, I'm just going to go down with this. They changed the face of Christ. Mm -hmm. They kill us in the streets. Mm -hmm. We got the curses on us. You want to, I'm sure you're going to go into that too. Uh, Ezekiel 36, 24. The book of Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 24. Okay. For I will take you among the heathen. Uh -huh. Take you from among the heathen. And gather you out of all countries. And I will bring you into your own land. Wait, wait, wait. Did he just say he going to take us from among the heathen? <laughs> so guess what? If the most high Christ himself, God, God is telling us he's going to take us from among the heathen, this cannot be talking about the other people over there in that land right now, the fake people in that land right now. Because uh -huh. guess what? In 1947, by way of British mandate, they got took out of Europe and they... The British people gave them their land, not the Most High. That's right. So this, this right here, this tells you, guess what? The people over there right now, they're, they're, they're obviously lying or something is not right here. Right. Read it one more time. Bring it out. For I will take you from among the heathen. He's going to take you from among the heathen. Guess what? The Most High is telling Israel that he's going to take us, the real Israelites, from among the heathen around the world. Keep reading. And gather you out of all countries. Gather us out from all countries. Because guess what? Uh, Second Edges 2 and 7 just said we were scattered abroad. Keep mm -hmm. reading. And we'll bring you into your own land. Well, he's going to give us our own land. He's going to take us up and give us our own land back. Not the not not by way of British mandate. So that tells you that that pretty much tells you that the people over there who got over there by British mandate right now are they, they those are not the real Jews. This is the new or old covenant. Shot shot shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying my bad. My bad. We we still we still amongst these Edomites, right? Right. Oh yeah, my bad. I'm just saying. Give me Ezekiel 11 and 16. Bring it out. Bring it out. The precepts I'm pulling should be showing you systematically that we are the people of the Bible. That's right. I, I, I'm doing it through multiple different ways to show you who the people of the Bible are right now. Uh, yeah, Ezekiel 11 and 16. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 11 and verse 16. Therefore, say, thus saith the Lord God. God is speaking right here. Read. All they I have cast them, cast them far, far from off among the heathen. Okay. And all through, I have scattered them ab among the countries. He scatters among the countries again. This is what, again, it's saying the same thing. He read. Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the cup. Guess what? That word sanctuary, sanctuary, that's a safe place. He's going to have little safe places set up for us to guess what? To, to endure the madness here. You know what those little safe places are? It's the people right now who are teaching the word 
via either 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 they teaching through Facebook. They out there preaching to the people. Come. They having classes on Sabbath. They having classes on Wednesday. They having classes every day of the week. Those are your little sanctuaries right there. That's right. They give that that right there is to give you hope and comfort mm -hmm. to to show that guess what you're not doing this alone. These are little sanctuaries. Keep reading. In the countries where they where they shall come. In the countries they should be scattered. Keep read, he read. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord God, uh -huh. I will even gather you from the people. He's gonna gather us from the from the people. He's gonna gather us, the Israelites, from everybody else. So once again, the Most High said He's gonna gather us from the people. This is not talking about the Jews over there who were put who were put in in the land of Israel today. By way of British, by the way, of the British mandate that it, it's simple, I man. It's cutting them up. He reads, and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered. He's gonna assemble us, he's gonna pick us up and put us together. He reads, and I will give you the land of Israel, the most high God. It, it just said in verse 16 that this is God speaking, He is gonna get, He's gonna give us our land of Israel, He's gonna put us back in our land. Simple as that, man. Look, look, give me Revelations 2 and 9. Bring it out. Because this right here, this class should t t pretty much help you understand. It should help you under un understand who the people of the Bible are. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 9. Okay. I know thy works and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty. Like he said, I know I know, I know, there are problems and, and I know that you're poor right now. But guess what? Keep reading. But thou art rich. He said we're rich. Keep reading. And I know thy blasphemy. Of them that say they are Jews. Do you know how it feel to walk around and to hear these other people be called Jews when you know right now you at the bottom, but you know that you a real Jew in the Bible? That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you know how that feels to walk around and have other people other people being referred to as, as a Jew? Have other people being referred to that they in your land, defiling your land right now? Do you know how that feels? Mm -hmm. Having gay parade having gay parades every day. Man. Thought I'm in Egypt. Right. Keep reading, man. And they're not. But are the synagogue of Satan? But guess what? That that's the synagogue of Satan. The synagogue, the synagogue is a temple, a temple or a church. That's the church of Satan right there. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They over there, they over there promoting homosexuality. It, 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 the scriptures say what they say. Fine. Let's jump over to the next chapter. Give me Revelation three and nine. Fine. Book of Revelation chapter three and verse nine. Mm -hmm. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews. Uh huh. And are not. Oh, so them people over there, they're claiming to be Jews. they repping to be Jews. Mm -hmm. They were friends just like they mm -hmm. Jews. They act they act like they're Jews. When when you, when people address them, they say they're Jewish. He read, man. Oh, you want to get something to say? Yeah, can I say something out real quick? Go ahead. Just, just to elaborate on what he's saying. Uh, I read that one more time. Read that one more time. Dude, from the top? Yeah, from the top. Behold, mm -hmm. I will make them. Of the synagogue of Satan. The synagogue of Satan, right? Which say they are Jews. But are what? And are not. Right. So we, you know what I'm saying? The real Israelites over here telling y'all that the so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole, Indian, man, woman, and child are the true Israelites. But we not claiming to be Jews because we don't know who the hell we are. Uh -huh. So that just goes to prove that, hey, someone is lying. So if they claiming to be Jews and they're not, and we're telling you that, we're the Jews and the so-called black Hispanic, you know, the indigenous people are Jews, then they the liars, man. That's clear as day. That's clear as day, like I'll bring it out. Go ahead. Right. Hold on there. I gotta preach up. Go ahead. I got Matthew chapter twenty four and verse twenty four. Go ahead. Cause these people, these these so these so called Jews in our land, these so called Jewish people, mm -hmm. they're not even hundred percent Jews. Mm -hmm. they, they, they say they the which they say they are, but they lie. But let, let, when you get there, read that out. <laughs> The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 24. For they for there shall arise false Christ uh -huh. and false prophets. Uh -huh. False prophets. Let me get that false prophets. The people in our home, the people in our homeland right now, the fouling it. Mm -hmm. Them the yeah. false prophets in our homeland. He reading. And and shall shoe. Uh -huh. And shall shoe great signs and wonders. Yep. In so much that if we, if it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. Man, they would deceive the very elect. They deceiving our people right now in the in the world right now. They're saying that they are the Jews, but they really not. They lying. They liars. Esau has been a born liar. Esau has a has a target on his head. 
man, this this is our th- these are some of the things that just teach you that we are that that we are the people of this book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And hey, and that, and them them great signs and wonders that, that that's them trying to put stuff on the moon. That's them trying. That's their technology. Mm-hmm. They're they're trying to they're trying to say, hey, we got. Look how powerful. Look how power. Look look what we can create here. Right. That hey, and it said if it were possible, they would deceive the the very elect, Con. the people that God chose. Con. Hey, it say what it say. If you Con. read, if you read verse eleven, it say the same thing. What I read that. Yeah, jump to verse eleven. Mm-hmm. You get that brain, man, cause cause these these are these are the things that we that we should know as being Hebrew Israelites in, in this truth. That's right. And being and being a people of this book, and being a people of this book. This book, this book is written for us. You got that bring it out. The book, the book of Matthew, chapter chapter twenty four and verse eleven. Bring it out. And many false prophets shall rise. Many false prophets shall rise. The people, the people, the people in the uh in, in our homeland. People at home and in Jerusalem, they 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 arrived already. Come on, keep reading. They shall deceive many. They deceiving our people. They deceive. They deceiving our. They deceiving two thirds of our people. Mm-hmm. Thinking that they thinking that they what you thinking that they the fake Jews. Mm-hmm. And also, mm-hmm. another thing, when also when it's going into false prophets, that also that can also mean those Christian or Catholic priests or Come pastors, on. you know, mm-hmm. tricking our people, thinking that they worship this tree that our Lord and Savior died on, right, and able to. And able to show and to able to love them, you gotta worship that. You know, just pray. You know, don't do the works. Mm-hmm. All you have, all you, all you need is faith, right? Right. Mm-hmm. But yeah. when that's not the case, you know, mm-hmm. that tricks that tricks a big amount of our people. It it really does. About two, a big amount of our people are in Christianity. Two thirds. Two thirds. Exactly. Exact. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> not on two that. Two thirds to be exact. He ain't lying, brother. Ain't lying. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Ooh, I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? Give me Job thirty and thirty. Uh, I'm I'm listening. The whole class, I have been proving to you that the Bible is talking to Israelites. Let's go. Let's go and see the prophets of the Bible. Let's see. Let's see. Let, let's see what they said they were. Read. If you, look at Job chapter thirty and verse thirty. Read, man. My skin is black upon me. What? My skin is black upon me. What? My, My skin, skin is, is black, black upon, upon me. me. So guess what? If his skin is black, what race is he? He is an Israelite. That's right. Or guess what? The so-called black people, they call it a day. Guess what? If Job is a black man, he's saying, I am black. My skin is black upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess what? That tells you that, guess what? Who was Job prophesying to? The people, the people who were black. Mm-hmm. Job was a black man. That just shows you, even in Job 9, 24, that he's been whitewashed today. Uh, let's keep going. Give me Jeremiah 14 oh, and 2. Keep, keep reading that. Keep reading it. Joel 30 and 30. Okay. Read that. Go ahead. And my bones are burned with heat. Uh-huh. Keep reading. Read, read verse 31. My heart is also turned where's to the, mourning. Where's that my brother is? My brother it's Jack. It's right there. Yeah. Read that. Keep reading it. And my organ into the voice of the we- of them that weep. Uh-huh. It ain't, it ain't, the, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to find out where to say I'm, I'm my brother to dragons. Which is the red? Which is the red man? Uh, okay, well you get it. We go yeah. back, but give me Jeremiah fourteen and two. I'm gonna I'm continue. It's verse twenty nine. Yeah, it's like it. So go up, okay. go up yeah. one above thirty. Oh, you got it. Job thirty and twenty nine. Job, Job thirty and verse twenty nine. I am a brother to dragon. Esau. We are brother to e. We are brothers to Esau because you know Jacob and Esau. They were they were twins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You can read it. And a companion to ours. Uh. Uh-huh. I would like to get on ours too, because if you look at the if you look at the back of the dollar bill, mm-hmm. on that on that on that one bottom one, it has an owl peeking out. Mm-hmm. 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 And it says and it says dragons, because one thing you think about when you think of a dragon, they're red. That's the, that's the main thing you think of when you think about it. They're red. Mm-hmm. And Esau came out the womb red and hairy all over, or hairy and red all over. But I, I don't want to go too deep in that because no, that, that right there. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just pointing that out so yeah. I have a better understanding when he says that um, he's black, he, I am a brother to dragons. He's a brother to Esau. There you go. Because you don't know, Jacob uh, Jacob was Esau's brother. He was. Mm-hmm. But Esau, they did some pretty wicked stuff, and guess what? They got to get punished for it. Huh. Uh, give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Uh, praise the brother in the spirit. Um, we we gonna prove prove to you right now who who, who the Bible's talking to, man. 
book, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Okay. Judah mourned. And Wait. the gate. Judah what? Judah Judas. mourned. Judah is mourning right now. Guess what? Judah Judah is sad right now. Judah got to go to work every day. Mm-hmm. Judah got to Judah got to support a whole bunch of children with with, with no money. Mm-hmm. Judah is being is is like, we been we been uh we been traumatized. We been they they pressing us every day. Right. It's sad. Keep reading. And their gates thereof language. Okay, their gates language. Keep reading. They are black unto the ground. Ooh, 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 ooh. read it again. <laughs> they are black unto the ground. Man, what color is dirt? Brown. What? Brown. Brothers, Brown. we ain't talking about no sand. Brown. We talking about dirt. Right. It said dirt. Right. Mm-hmm. Guess what? The deeper, ground. the deeper you go in the ground, the darker it gets. That's um, right. Keep reading. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Uh-huh. And guess what? We crying. That cry is going up to the Most High. You get, get, get. Right. I want to get a verse Genesis two and seven to kind of back up what he said about. Uh, we are black unto the ground because you know there's different shades of there's different colors and shades of black you know yep. also that are in the ground and we have different shades of uh brown and black in our nation yeah that's, that's, that's true whenever you yeah, yeah light-skinned that. people and, and darker-skinned people mm-hmm. the book of genius genesis chapter two, <laughs> <laughs> the book of genesis, like chapter two verse seven mm-hmm. and the lord and the lord god formed man of the dust of the ground see the lord the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. He formed him from the dirt. Gone. And breathed into his nostrils, the mm-hmm. breath of life. Mm-hmm. And man became a living soul. So yeah. now that's just back up what he said. He made us from the ground. He made us of different shades of the ground. You know? Oh. And guess what the ground is? It's yeah. brown. Yeah. Also, the ground it is brown. Run. Also, the ground is brown. Simple also, thing. I want to get into the, uh, the breath of life. That breath of life is going into the word. The oh, commandments. Man, there you go. Speak to him. Because if we did have the commandments, we'd be walking around this. Who's the uh-huh. commandment given to? It's the people, Israelites. the people, the, the, the dark nation. The people, the people, the, the people, the people, the dark nation. The no. dark nation. No. We yeah. get that. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let me get. Uh, no, Isaiah got a piece of Oh, I'm just going to get. I really got two, but I'm just going to get one. I just want to get Song of uh, Solomon 1 and 5. I got this. I got this. Okay, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, can I get one? Yeah, go ahead. I got uh, Jeremiah 8 and 21. Okay. We all get that bring it out because yeah, bring it out. Because Jeremiah chapter eight and verse twenty one. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, am I hurt? Listen, this is who who was that daughter? We we that daughter. Come on, keep reading. I am black. Say it again. I am black. One more time. I, I am, am black. black. Yeah, he is what? Black. 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 That's keep right. Astonish, astonishment had taken. Taking hold of me, man. It's, it, it don't get, it don't get no, it don't get no <clears throat> simple, clear cut than this. He is black. We is that daughter that is hurt because 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 we didn't want to keep God's commandments, and this is what happened. Now we hurt. Now people, now people out here gotta sell drugs. Mm-hmm. Now people out here gotta be, gotta be cracked. Now people over here crackheads, mm-hmm. meth heads. All these things that happen to us. We are hurt. We that we that hurt daughter. That's all I want on that out. Hey man, uh, let's go to First Kings. First Kings two and twelve. Mm. Yeah, hey man, for all y'all, man, the brother bringing it out. You know what I'm saying? The brothers in the spirit. For all y'all, want to just see like brother Joe saying, man, he's giving you precept upon precept, like the scriptures say. So you really don't believe? Oh, we ain't Israelites. We ain't black. Well, the Lord just said that, man. Hey, it's... And you arguing with the Lord? Con. We just the messengers, man. You, you got two and twelve, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Book of First Kings, chapter two, and verse twelve. Okay, read. Then sat Solomon upon the throne of David. Not, read that again. Then sat Solomon upon the there throne of David, his father, uh-huh. and his kingdom was established greatly. Okay, so so this is telling you that that Solomon, uh, he got set up over kingdom. Jump down to fifteen. And he said, "Thou knowest that the kingdom was mine, uh-huh. and all that, all that." All Israel set their faces on me, that I should reign. Howbeit, okay. howbeit the kingdom is turned about, okay. and is become my brother. Uh-huh. For it was, for it was for him from the Lord. So this is pretty much saying Solomon is is ruling over Israel right now. <clears throat> so if Solomon right now is a king of Israel, he's ruling over Israel. Give me sons of Solomon one and one. And one. No, let's see if if Solomon right now. 
look at look, look at this from uh, uh look at this from from just like a, a literal a literal uh a literal sense. If Solomon is is ruling over Israel right now, let let's see let's see what Solomon said said he was. The Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. Okay. I am black. Huh? Wait, read that again. I don't. I am black. One more time. I, I am, am black. black. So if Solomon is a black man <laughs> and he's ruling over Israel, mm -hmm. guess what? Guess what Israel is? Israel is black too. <laughs> Simple as that. Hey, the scriptures say what they say. They say what they say, man. They say, you know, jump down to verse, uh, you over, uh, use on verse five? Yeah. Oh, keep reading. But comely. He said he comely. The comely is beautiful. Keep reading. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Uh-huh. As the tents of Kedar. Guess what? As a tents of Kedar. That means that means brother Solomon was a dark skinned brother. Mm -hmm. He was a very very dark skinned brother. He wasn't just he wasn't just light. He was dark. He was black. Mm -hmm. Hey, huh. it, it say what it say. Hey, uh, as, as uh, the curse of Solomon. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Well, give me Daniel seven and nine. And I just want to say like just that little part where he said, "I am black and comely." That's basically saying like brother said, "Black and beautiful." Who else say they black and beautiful? Like, come on, you gotta use context clues too, you know. There you use go. common sense too. Go ahead. Say what it say. Say what it say. The Read. book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse six. After this, no, give me nine. Seven and nine. Bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the, a good. One. The book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Okay. And the Ancient of Days did sit. So guess what? Who is the Ancient of Days? The Ancient of Days, guess what? That's the Most High. That's right. That's God himself. He, this, he's the Ancient of Days. Guess what? He's he, he's before days existed. Keep reading. Whose garment was white as snow? His garment was white as snow. Keep reading. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Brother, who you know got woolly hair? Who you, who you know got woolly hair? Bring it out. Mm -hmm. Who? 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 Guess what? Black people, the the people that the Bible was talking to, mm -hmm. simple as this. The the Bible don't get more simple. It, it's it's it, it's scripture after scripture after scripture, and it's steady it's steady coming down to 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 the same conclusion. That guess what the Bible is talking about? It's talking about the black people. Keep reading. His throne was like the fiery flame, uh huh, and his wheels as uh -huh. burning fire. Hey Amen. It, it say what it say. It, 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 it's a constant onslaught of scriptures telling you that. The Bible is talking about black people. Mm -hmm. Give me Revelations 1 and 14. Gosh, you got Revelations 5 and 5 and 10. I ain't got it, but you can get it out. You can get it out. Oh, after this. After this. I was thinking about that one too. Come on, bring it out. Revelations 1 and 14. Look at Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh huh. His head and his hair were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. Like what? Like, like wool. wool. So if his hair was like wool, who you know got woolly hair? Con. Oh, I'm sorry. Nappy hair. That's right. That's us. That's right. <laughs> he didn't say doggy stringy hair. Yeah, thank you, man. It woolly is, hair. He didn't say goat stringy hair. There you go. <laughs> it, woolly hair. Simple, man. He read. As white as snow. Ooh, he, he, was, he, he had gray hairs. He read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Can you read? Let's see. And his feet like unto a fine brass. If you ever seen brass and you know what fine brass look like, guess what fine brass look like? Fine fine brass is brown. That's right. It's a very it's a very brown color. So guess what? That lets you know that if Christ was white and Christ was preaching to the Israelites, I mean not white, sorry. If Con, Christ Con. was was black Con, so and I Christ was preaching preaching to the Israelites, that tells you that the Israelites are black too. That's right. Look, man, it don't get more simpler than this. Can you read it over again? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, read it. Wait, read it over again. As if they burn in a... Oh, and his feet like a fine brass. Fine brass, a brown color. Can you read? As if they burn in a furnace. Guess what? Not only is it fine brass, but as it burn in a furnace. That means even more darker. Mm -hmm. Can you read? And his voice as the sound of many waters. Hey, he had a very deep voice. He was, he was powerful when he spoke. Can you read? So let, 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 let me let me ask y'all a question. So when Christ was born, he had to flee to where? To Egypt. To where? Where? Who who lived in Egypt? The, the Africans. 
the dark, the dark, the darker racial people. They right. not, they 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 not color. Mm-hmm. It's it's a version of the X's. Also, also, also that proves we not no, we not no Africans. Mm-hmm. There you go. He had, he had, he had. It, 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 imagine the price a white baby. I'm talking about full on white baby. Right. Blue hair. They would have killed him. He 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 go to he go to he go to Egypt mm-hmm. to go hide. To go hide. Mm-hmm. What they finna do? What they finna they do? They would have killed him. Stick out like a sore thumb. They would have pointed him on. Oh, there, there go that little cracker right there. Oh, it's it's like, it say what it say. say. Anybody got any, any precepts? I mean, I can go to Lamentations five and ten. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead. Yeah. Lamentations yeah. five and ten. Uh-huh. Bring it out. You get that out because look, look the thing, the things we we keep proving is it's shots coming, shots coming. They, it's like a hundred round drum. We keep we keep proving that we are the race of this, that we are the race of this name, that we are the people of this Bible. That's right. That we got next in the kingdom. That's right. Like the book of Isaiah forty five verse seventeen, like he just got mm-hmm. said, because we the people, we the people, we the people of this kingdom. Read that, read that. Okay. All right. Book of Lamentations chapter five verse ten. Uh huh. Our skin was black like an oven. Our skin mm. was black like an oven. Because of the terrible famine. Because of the terrible, terrible famine when I was in the land. You got guess what? When you put something in the oven, guess what? We, if it stays in the oven too long, it, it gets darker and darker and darker and darker. Right. So it, the Bible the Bible is, is pretty much, it, it lets you know who this is talking about, man. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. Uh, uh, let me look this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anybody got anything else? Nah, I don't got anything. Um, uh, you can get. Uh, I'll keep that. Uh, give me Romans eleven and twenty six. Right. This is gonna be the last piece of. Right, bring it out. Bring it out. Book of Romans, chapter eleven, and verse twenty six. Uh-huh. Bring it out. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it was, as it is written. Uh-huh. Uh, as it is written, that means guess what? It's not only in the New Testament; it's in the Old Testament, which Christ was referring to. He read, mm-hmm. "There shall come out of Zion the deliverer." The deliverer. He read, "And shall turn away <coughs> ungodliness, ungodliness from Jacob." That deliverer that should come out of Zion, out of the out of the bloodline of Zion, the flesh of Zion. That's Christ. That's right. That's why if you look, you look at your Bible. That deliverer is it's it's in cat. It has a capital D right there because guess what? That's someone's name. That's Christ's. That's one of Christ's. That's one of Christ's many names. Mm-hmm. That's that's one of the scriptures that proved that Christ was in the Old Testament too. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you you can go get where it was, where it was written at. You can go. Oh, I, can, I, I mean you, Isaiah forty five seventeen. No, give me uh, Isaiah fifty nine verse twenty. Because because look, these are one of the, this is one of the scriptures he just pulled as it's written. The, the the redeemer the redeemer gonna come back. Who 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 was who sound like who who was the redeemer? That's right. So when you get that, bring it out. Book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 20. Bring it out. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. Uh huh. And unto them that turn from transgression. He and gonna, Jacob. He go for them that from them that turn from tra- turn from trans- transgression. The people that repent. From them that turn turn from transgression. The people that repent. Keep reading. Says the Lord. That's all. That's all I want. Hey man, the, scripture, the Redeemer, the Deliverer, man, it, this is Christ. Christ is coming back to, to save us, man. Uh, go back to, let's read this. Uh, Romans 11 and 27. Romans chapter 11 and verse 27. Uh-huh. For this is my covenant unto them. Boom, this is his covenant. Uh, this is his covenant with us. Keep reading. Also, I'm just I just gonna add this on. Covenant means promise. A yeah. Covenant is a promise. When I shall when I shall take away their sins. Hey, you're gonna take away the sins. Guess what? Your sins will be blotted out because guess what? You coming back to the most high, you learning your actual heritage and you're doing what the Bible is telling you to do. Uh, uh I got a what? I got a statue again. Uh, I mean a statue of law saying that Oh it is? Yeah, like laws, like you know, we tell people to keep laws the laws, commandments, and statutes. We tell people to keep the laws, commandments, and statutes. Guess what? Uh, you can get your, you can get your law. I get my, I get yours. Oh, all right. Let's go to the book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen, verse fourteen. Leviticus nineteen and fourteen. It's always good to leave off our people with the law and the statutes and commandment too. You know. Come on, come on, come on. All right. 
read, whoever can read, anyone can read it when they get there. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, mm -hmm. nor put a stumbling block before the blind, mm -hmm. but shall but shall fear the Zai God, I am the Lord. So when it says put a stumbling block before the blind, that's also going into like people that aren't open or don't have the veil lifted from their eyes, like in the truth too. Because there'd be like we just said, wicked false prophets. False prophets and huh? I'm sorry. Oh, there'd be like people like false pop false prophets. Like your false prophets and like wicked pastors teaching our people in the Christianity, mm -hmm. you know, it's okay, it's okay to sin as long as you, you know, pray about it, but then go back into it, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. not to keep the laws. That's putting a stumbling block before the blind because they don't know any better, but you're you're fall, making them follow false ways. Mm -hmm. You're making the, you're making them sin basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. But that's all I got. In, with that, that's also it's also in a spiritual way, but it's also in a in a in a, in a like a literal way too. Con. If if a person is blind, you shouldn't be playing with them. Or if they're deaf, right. they, they have disability. You shouldn't do that. You you shouldn't put stumbling blocks in their way to where they trip or fall. That, that's that's out the spirit. Mm -hmm. And give me please ask twelve and thirteen. Let me end it off. In there. It's it's spirit. It's spirit. It is. <laughs> yeah, spirit, brother. Brother, you had this in the book of Ecclesiastes. 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 Chapter 12 and verse 13. Con. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. The ending. The final. Fear God. What? Fear God. So it's what it's telling you guess what? To fear God. When you fear God, that means you, you hold his words as accountable and you say, Hey, I'm gonna listen to you. Read. And keep his commandments. Keep all his commandments. And guess what? Keep reading. For this is the whole duty of man. That's all you gotta do. Whole duty of man, man. We did 14 too. Yeah, I only did 14. 14. 14. Okay, go ahead. For God shall bring every work into judgment. There you go. Mm -hmm. And every secret thing, mm -hmm. whether it be good mm -hmm. or whether it be evil. Whether it be good or bad, he's gonna bring all these all these evil things that's going on in the earth. He's gonna bring he's gonna bring it out. Whether it be good or bad. He's gonna give you a he's gonna give you a judgment basically, whether it's good or bad. He'll give you a reward for your good things and a reward for your wicked things too. Mm -hmm. You know? It may not be positive or it may not be negative, but you're gonna get a reward nonetheless. Huh. And that's yeah. why that's why, hey man, you shouldn't you shouldn't want no smoke with the most high man. You huh. don't you do not want to play with the Lord like that, man. And hey, that's why that's why like the brother bringing out like here at the Better Action, man. We want to encourage our people to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments no matter what. That's the main reason we own this earth, like the scripture just said, man. Hey, man, it's simple as that. And on that, we gonna say shalom. Shalom, shalom bro. That was kind of dry.